So today we're gonna to talk about creating coloring book pages, which is family friendly for everybody. And Midjourney does a great job at creating coloring book pages. But first, make sure you subscribe so you can follow along for more. So the prompt generally goes like this. A 2D outline that's a simple vector in monochrome that's a coloring page depicting blank. So here I put Vietnamese boatman in river. And then there's also the gradient shading grayscale that was added on as well. And this kind of gives it that like gray color, the shading of it so that it looks better in a coloring book. Now your job here is you can put whatever you want where the Vietnamese boatman in the river part is. So here I would put maybe cat in a space station since that's what I just did. Okay, so the one that just came out, the Vietnamese boatman one came out like this. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. You know, like most things look like it's fitting for a coloring book. You could have a story follow along with this. Now we could also try having this in Niji mode just to see how that turns out because it is in a kind of animated drawing style. So I would do this, but add Niji. So you also note that I'm doing the aspect ratio of three by two. This way it's kind of like a wider type of shot. I like that kind of style a bit more than the default square, but you can have it as whatever you want. So we we'll would run this as Niji and see what comes out. Okay, the cat one just came out too, the depicting cats in a space station. And as you can see here, the cats in a space station look really good. Like it's actually cats looking like astronauts in a space station. And then my other one of the Vietnamese boatmen in the river didn't turn out too well. As you can see here, the faces aren't too good, but the way to combat this and to fix this is to just run it again. Sometimes you need to run some of these prompts a couple times and then you'll finally get what you like. So I'll run that again. But the first one that came out, it looked good. You know, like it looked like, it looks like a like real person. So if you look here, you can see what it turned out looking like. And I think this one was a lot better than the second one that came out, but it's okay. You need to run some of these a couple times for them to turn out perfect. Now I'll also prompt this to have just the first part, which is 2D outline, simple vector in monochrome coloring page so that you can see what that looks like as well. Cause this also brings in good results. And then for this, I'll do dogs playing at the beach. Okay, so the dogs playing at the beach just came out and here's what we got. So some of these dogs look a bit weird. It definitely does take a couple renditions. The best one is the second one right here, which looks the closest to two dogs playing. The first one, the bodies are a bit strange. Third one, also a bit strange. The eyes missing on one of them. Fourth one is decent. So the second one and the fourth one looks good. But if you rerun this many times, you'll also get something much nicer and more accurate. And as that one was loading, I also did another one where I added the Studio Ghibli style, which is one of my favorite anime studios. And we're using that style to generate a coloring book out of it. And as you look, you can see that it's coming into place and looking good and now just finished. And you can see this is what it looks like. And it's pretty accurate. Like this fourth one, I think is very spot on with a Studio Ghibli style. First and second one are also decent, but this fourth one is really good. Now, again, with a lot of these prompts, if you want perfect, you need to run it a few times and then eventually you'll find one that works for you. And with Mid Journey version five, it's gotten so much better that I haven't found myself really going through over three reruns until I get something that I like. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe and follow along for more.